Well, I just got out of the truck and I saw this coin laying on the ground and I turned it over and it's a Roosevelt dime, pure silver. Just laying on the ground, that's the way it was laying. Tell you a little secret about these onions. See those, some of them are laying on their sides. There's one. My bride is trying to stick some in the ground. See them laying on their sides. Birds, they come and tug on them, and until the roots get established, they'll pull them up. And the other day I didn't have time to put cloches over them, although as thick as these are, it's harder to put cloches over them. But up on this end, there's quite a number of them laying over. So now we got to replant them. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, but I was scared that uh, they would need some more moisture, and I didn't want to lose them. But We'll have to stick these things back in the ground. And hopefully they'll get a little root on them because uh, they've been here since Monday. Today's Sunday. And I would say that uh, oh, at least 5% of them are more pulled up. Well, to keep the birds from pulling these things up until the roots get established, we use this uh, rabbit fencing, two-foot fencing with the stakes on it. We roll it up with the stakes on it, so we just had to roll out one roll on this side and gingerly roll out the other one and hold it in enough to beat the little post in. And this netting is seven feet by a hundred, and we've overlapped it a little bit on this side, uh, double backed over it because uh, it's not quite seven foot here where it's about six down there. And we put clothespins on it to hold it. And since these clothespins that I made today are so cheap, they fall apart, literally fall apart. And then we went back and tied it off with this little, with a little strips of nylon hose that I used to tie up everything. And that ought to hold it. Now I'm just gonna pick these things off. Wouldn't hurt to leave them on there, but it's the only clothespins we could buy around here. Don't, there's no quality left. And my bride is down there and we're both getting up in age. And uh, it's a lot easier to sit in a chair like that while you do all these little ties than it is to bend over like she's doing right now. But that ought to keep the birds out until they get roots. But they are growing, they are healthy, they are green. And uh, you can always take a bamboo rod if one happened to be not in the soil and stick it through the mesh hole. And... Uh, push it in the ground and scrape some soil over it if you had to. Like that one right there, sort of leaning over, but it does look like it, the roots are in the ground. But we replanted all that we saw that was pulled up. Now I'm pulling the clothespins off. It was supposed to be about 49, 50 degrees, I don't believe it. And the wind has been anywhere from 12 to 20. It's some cold air. I've got my hood up. Uh, it's just cold. Probably gonna pick, catch pneumonia.